hey guys your inner chakras welcome back to the channel guys if you are new you are welcome guys i'm going to use this dark mirror again i've been having this book for like maybe two years and when i got it i was kind of afraid of it uh until i really got into tarot but now that i'm using it i'm learning it but i'm i'm still using the book but it's very deep it gets into the psychological aspect of a person so i pulled it back out again guys <laughs> Let's let's do some digging, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Collector, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is going on? Who's in your energy space, right? It freaks me when it throws it, cause you can feel it when it's thrown. It's like, mm, it's different when it's tossed like that. Somebody's feeling alone in the world, guys. Number six. So somebody's feeling alone in the world. Let's see. Somebody's in solitude, guys. Um, somebody... Somebody is waiting for something to come back. They're waiting for you to come back. When we parted ways, we promised to each other, I will wait for you and I will come back. We may have used different words like it's just a few months or a sharper pen like I don't need you. Still, we are waiting. Mind has lost shape. Body has lost memory, but our heart is still incomplete. It is shrined into a blessed feeling of longing and desire and distance. It built walls to stall the passage of time and the walls kept out everything. Will the prince come or has the world gone silent while we waited? Waiting is a transition. It has a beginning and it has an end. Waiting is the night. Morning brings the sun of a new day. So guys, some, oh, somebody's feeling alone in the world without you. It's like they're waiting for you to return, like man or woman. It's like they, they feel alone. And they're just waiting, waiting for you to return. And then we have hiding, hiding your true self, which is number 14. Number 14, Spirit. Hiding is keeping things inside. L lack of trust becomes lack of hope. So there must be a limit. Hiding is a survival instinct. Do you want to be honest and truly be yourself? Very few people will accept you then. You are too complicated to be comfortable, too contradict, too contradict, too con too contradictory uh, to be easy, too exceptional to be believed, too plain to be considered. You can be the sun, you can be the moon, and you can be the door, and you can be the road. You can be the butterfly and the brick. Maybe the question is not if, but when. Sometimes real solitude is when there is not a right moment to be yourself and not the right person, and neither is the right way. Being yourself is like a moment at the spa. It is a massage for the soul, a purification process that brings in oxygen and turns away age and wear. It is bliss and pleasure. So guys, somebody feels alone in the world. Maybe you walked away, they're waiting for you to return. But instead of telling you how they feel, they're hiding their true self. They're hiding their feelings. Like they're not going to tell you how they feel. They're not going to tell you that they feel alone. It's almost like they have this pride. But instead of saying anything, they're just going to sit there and not say anything. All right? All right, guys. Let's see who this is and what's going on. But they're feeling alone. They're waiting for you to return. Spirit, what's going on here? Yeah, someone's waiting, waiting for you to return, feeling alone in the world. like you have no regrets right 
and that you walked on, you found your peace. They feel like you moved on, you left them, and you found your peace, right? Something helped you get your breakthrough. They feel that you've entered something else, but the fact that you've moved on, this person is in hermit. And um, they're soul searching. They're doing a lot of soul searching. Could be meditating, praying, spending time alone, being alone. being selfish to others because they just don't want to be bothered this person they do have a lot of challenges in their life right now people could be provoking them but they still try to maintain control so it's like people are poking the bear even though this person's feeling alone yeah they feel alone because of an ending whatever happened with you guys the connection ended. Yeah, this is a completion. This is an ending here. They feel that you moved on, right? Like you ended things, you moved on. They look at you like you're complete. Um, you're celebrating your life. Yeah, you got the karmic wheel. So this person, they're frustrated. They could be dealing with somebody because somebody is poking the bear. But it looks like you could have ended things with this person. You moved on. You're living your life. And they're feeling alone. Somebody is waiting for you to come back. Maybe y'all left saying, I'll be back. You know, it's only going to be a little while. But whatever you said to this person upon your exit, they're still sitting on those words. So they're just trying to keep themselves busy with multiple uh, priorities. They're going through a very stormy time, this person here. They don't have any stability and they're still trying to heal their heart. They have a lack of discipline right now, guys. They're trying to move on, but they're having a hard time. Yeah, they're still up in their head. They have anxiety. They could be depressed or having nightmares, can't sleep most nights. They're in this victim mentality. It's like they created this own entrapment for themselves, like in their own ego. They're feeding negative thoughts. They're, this person's waiting on you. They're hopeful for you to return. They're just going to sit and wait. They're hopeful that you're going to show up. They're remaining calm. This person does have offers. They just, they don't want what's being offered to them. And they're just, and they're hiding their true feelings from you. Holy Spirit, why are they hiding their feelings? They're hiding their true feelings because they feel like they lost the opportunity with you. Because of their lack of planning, they could have had an addiction in their life. Could have been other people, temptations, restrictions, uh, codependency. They could have other lives, something else going on in their life. Yeah, they did. They had a queen of wands in reverse. Somebody who was very selfish, very jealous, very insecure. So this person lost you because they had another person in their energy. So maybe you exited on a get your life together and I'll be back. Yeah, this is the this was emotional immaturity, so it didn't work. This was injustice for you. You you walked away. You found out this was a Knight of Wands in reverse. So Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands in reverse. So this person, they feel alone because of how they live their life. They didn't treat you well. Because if they're the Knight of Wands in reverse and this is the Queen of Wands in reverse, they was disrespecting you. So you possibly ended up walking away. You did. Look at that. Eight of Cups. You walked away. Mm -hmm. You walked away from this person. So now they're feeling alone. They're feeling alone. Holy Spirit. Emotional manipulation. There was a lot of emotional manipulation. Maybe they tried to manipulate you. Yeah. 
There could also be an unwanted pregnancy somewhere, guys. And here I stand. So they're just sitting there waiting for you. You could have walked away because of an unwanted pregnancy. Maybe you found out something. So they're, they're standing there. They're waiting for you, feeling alone in the world. That's sweet delight. Mm. What are you going to do, guys? It seems like they said you made a promise to them. I guess upon the exit, I don't know exactly what was said, but whatever you said, you probably said something like, I'll be back, give me two months, three months, five months. This person is holding on to something that you said thinking you're going to return. And they're not going to tell you how they truly feel, that they're hiding how they truly feel about you and the situation. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Is that rain? Firecrackers. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.